everyone. It is 2022. <laughs> Where does the time go? Where does it go? As I get older, time moves quicker. It's stressing me out, but we'll, we won't get into that. As you can probably see behind me, there are three white curtains. What is behind them, you may ask? My clothes. My clothes are in these. These are my closets. I've done a few closet clear out videos on my channel. The most recent one was a year and a half ago, but actually when I moved a couple months ago, I also cleared out my closet, not in a video. But as you can see, I still have way too much clothes. And I've been reading this book about minimizing the stuff that you have. And immediately my brain always goes to that. I have way too much clothes, especially with the idea that I wear the same things almost every day. I feel like it would be a little bit different if I was like a fashionista who dove into lots of different styles and I always was pulling looks and actually wearing the clothes that I have. But since they just sit here, I would like to donate them so someone else can enjoy them instead of them just sit here and collect dust. So today I have chosen to be in head to toe cheetah print because in my last closet clear out video, you guys were surprised. I was wearing this exact shirt and apparently it was going really well with all the things I was trying on. So I just stuck with that and I wore cheetah print. I am in a mood to get rid of clothes. I am not bringing in the new year with too much clothes. Actually, okay, but with that being said, probably by the end of this video, there will still be too much clothes, but I wanna cut it down in comparison. For anyone curious, everything that I get rid of today, I will be donating. I have a few charities that I'd like to donate the pieces to. The stuff I'm getting rid of, I'm gonna try and organize specific for the charity I'm giving to. Like the really trendy tops, I feel like I could give to the thrift store for other people to enjoy. But then the coats and things, I would like to give to a homeless shelter. Anything that will like hold in heat, especially during like the winter season, I feel like that will be really, really useful at the homeless shelters. So all of these clothes are gonna definitely be put to better use than just sitting in my closet. So without further ado, let us begin this closet clear out. I am in the mood to get rid of clothes. I am done with you. Let's go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, where should we begin? my jean section. I am not an avid jean wearer, but I do accumulate, you guys will notice this, this is probably gonna be a theme throughout the video. I accumulate a lot of clothes in the haul videos that I do on my channel, and then I kind of just sit it in my closet because I'm not ready to get rid of it because I convince myself that I will in fact wear it and be more stylish. Just to inevitably prove to myself that I only wear sweatpants sets and I really don't need this many jeans. Okay, let me make sure there's no other jeans sneaking around. <sighs> I was reading some comments in my last closet clear out video and you guys gave a lot of really good, almost things to ask yourself when you're going through your clothes. Like obviously there's a few of the more obvious ones. Like have you worn it in the last six months? If not, you could probably get rid of it. But one that I really liked is, does this piece give you joy? And I don't think any pair of jeans gives me joy. So this should be pretty simple. Okay, these jeans, I actually love these jeans. These are from Hollister and they're those wide leg pants that are so popular right now. I actually bought these in two different sizes because I wanted a looser fit, but my mom accidentally bleached a giant circle of bleach onto my pants, onto the other one. Basically, I've been left with the ones that are a little bit small on me, so let me put them on because if they're too tight, I must get rid. Okay, love this style, but there's a reason why I like to buy jeans a few sizes too big now, because I don't like when jeans just fit. You know, like this fits good, right? But I think it's too tight. Like I like to have about an inch on the waistband of stretch, especially for jeans, because they're just not that comfortable. Gotta move this out of the way so you can see the whole fit. This is literally the first thing that I've put on and I'm already struggling because these fit so good. <sighs> But I gotta get rid of them. I got to. Okay, these are from Reformation. They're like a zero, which I recently have gained about 10 pounds. And I was thinking that a lot of the jeans would be too small for me. And sure enough, 
They are, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Okay. Okay, these are how I feel like jeans should fit. Also, I'm not even gonna try and put these two on because I know they're too small so they can just go. But these can stay. I feel like that's pretty good. I've gone rid of four and kept one. If we can keep that up, we will cut this down really well. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, I know why I kept these because I remember being obsessed with the style. Ooh, I'm done with them. No, no more taking up room in my closet. I feel like I'm having too much fun with this already. I think a lot of it, I won't have to try them on. I'll just have to check the sizes because I'm done with buying jeans that are my exact size. I want jeans that are a couple sizes bigger. I feel like someone will be really happy to find these at a thrift store. Oh, these are cute actually. Mm. No, those were too small when I bought them. Oh, these are actually cute. Boom, two pairs of jeans are staying. Okay, here's our to-go pile, 11 jeans, and to stay, four. And one of them is a romper that I honestly don't need, but my mom has a matching one, so I'm gonna keep it. Oh my gosh, look how many jeans. Now I actually have a soft spot in my heart for pants because pants are a lot more comfortable than jeans, so you'll probably see me keeping more of these. First pair, keep. These are hard because leather pants are kind of fun. These are faux leather, but they look like leather. And they're really, really comfortable, but I feel like this isn't me. Ooh. Oh, they're cute though. Too short, too tight. No. I don't want Brandy Melville anymore. Same thing. These are honestly too short. Love these. Keep. Keep. Okay. I feel like that's pretty good. Honestly, do I need these? Maybe I should put them on. This is now the second cut down of pants. I'm trying to decide. <gasps> these are cute. Oh my gosh, and they fit good. I thought they might be too short. I'm gonna keep these. I clearly don't need these, but they're pink flared pants. So I'm gonna just splurge and keep them. Okay, I got rid of 15. So that's that's okay. That's pretty good. I don't know, I love pants. Okay, I need something easy and neutral, like shorts. Whew. Now this is difficult because I need to get my mind in the idea of shorts, which it's the middle of winter, so. <sighs> These. Now I won't get into this too much, but I just want to explain this because there are pieces that I do like that I'm going to be getting rid of, specifically from Brandy Melville. I used to shop there a fair bit when I was younger and I just still have lots of pieces. I've read quite a few articles at this point about Brandy Melville, the company as a whole, not treating people equally. And I, I don't even know how I missed it because it's fun size but it's not one size fits all. And that's something that I didn't really, when I used to shop there, I didn't even think of it because I just thought of it as like, oh, it's one size and the size fits me. So great, I'll just shop there because it's easy. I don't have to try anything on. But now I think about it in a totally different light and it's not fair at all. And I don't want to support the brand. And there's other things too that they have done about being just like, not inclusive in other ways too. So I don't wanna have the brand in my closet anymore, so I'm getting rid of it. Goodbye. These are jeans. What are these? I just don't know how to style this sort of thing, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Oh, these are pants? Pants? I thought I dealt with you. Oh gosh, more pants. Okay, wait, these are actually my three like most worn pants though, so these can stay. Sweatpants shorts, you know. <laughs> I got a lot of time for sweatpants shorts. <laughs> I haven't even worn these. Huh? They were $168? What was I thinking? I wasn't, clearly. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these four jean shorts and I will keep these three jean shorts. Pink. Okay, jacket time. I have this teddy bear long jacket, which it actually has a hole in it, but I still really, really love this jacket. I'll try and mend it. You know, I want it. I wanted so badly to be the person who would rock a suit jacket, but it's just not me. Someone else can be this. Someone else can enjoy this jacket. Oh, I have moved this so many times. I got this when I went to Tokyo and it was just such a fun experience when I bought it. It makes me really want to keep it. And some of these things that I'm giving away, I actually want to go through them and pick a section to just 
hoard a few pieces of clothes for my kid, which just sounds so ridiculous, but I would have liked if my mom kept a few of her pieces, so that might be one that I keep, just simply for that. Okay, jean jacket. You did me well, girl. You did me well, but you gotta go. I just got this. I love it. I love this jacket. This is my skiing jacket, so I can't really get rid of that. Oh my gosh, I like this jacket too. Okay, this is a problem. This is just like a little vest. It's sort of cropped. Um, I'll get rid of it. I like it, but I'll get rid of it just, just to get rid of something. Oh, this is another vest. This is sort of more of a puffy vest. Do I like this one more? The other one was kind of more stylish, but this one I feel like provides more warmth, which in Canada is kind of a necessary thing. This jacket, go, stay. Oh, my Mr. Beast merch. <laughs> Love him. This jacket. I love this jacket. I kept this so long in hopes that I would wear it. It's for over top of like a dress. It's so cute. It's so cute. I literally love this jacket, which is interesting because I really don't like red that much. Oh, this is one of those things that I feel like if I'm not wearing it, I really should get rid of it because it does bring a lot of joy and fun and warmth. <sighs> But like, it's so cute. You know what? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Ugh! So cute. But will I miss it? Probably not. But maybe I would. I don't know. It's hard to say. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of it. This is me. Having self-control. Self-control as I'm like keeping, you know, 90% of the jackets. I'm just gonna say that, you know what? I live in Canada where jackets are necessary. So yeah. Okay, these dresses in bags are from my dress giveaway video where we donated like, I don't know, what was it? Like 75, 80 dresses. And I kept a fair few, as you can see. And some of these aren't from that video, they're just dresses that I have. So these actually won't live in my closet, so I'm just gonna move these because I'm still holding on to these. These are definitely all dresses that I will eventually get rid of. Like, I'm not going to be keeping these. I don't need these gowns. But I have some plans for them, so I can't get rid of them just yet. I already got rid of 70 or 80, okay? Okay, now that those are out of the way, we can look at the long dresses that I have. This is my Christmas dress. My mom has a matching one that's a snowman, so I must keep. Okay, this is a keep. As much as this is really cute, I'm going to get rid of it because I don't wear it enough. No! This seashell dress! Why didn't I wear this? I don't get myself. This is such a fun dress. Are you kidding me? And it does it have pockets? And it has pockets. This is exactly what happened to me the last time I was going through my closet. I saw this dress and I was like, I haven't worn it. If I don't wear it, I shouldn't keep it. And then I was like, well, you know what? Now that I've seen it, I'll wear it. And then I forget about it. Which, how can you forget about this print? It's literally bright green with seashells all over it. I love this fit. I love this fit. I literally am obsessed with this fit. I love these. These are the parachute pants. Honestly, the problem is with getting rid of this stuff is once I put them on, then I want to keep them. Come on, these are so comfy. It's definitely not flattering by any means, but I'm way past that. You know what? No. I have enough overalls. I will get rid of these ones. Even though they're cute as they're so cute. I told myself I would wear this and I didn't. This still has the tags on it and I didn't wear it. This is literally like what I want my bridesmaid dresses to look like, but green. Oh, so comfy. We've reached a problem. These two look the same. <laughs> I can't keep two of the same dress. I mean, I could, but I shouldn't, and I won't. Oh my gosh, now I'm really in a pickle. Cause I know myself, and I know I love a sleeve, and the other one is like a spaghetti strap. So I almost feel like this one's more me, because it also goes up a bit higher, which I really like, just being fully covered. Okay, never mind. sorry. Sorry, you're cute, but I can't keep two maybe ginghams. You know, if my mom was in here, there's a reason why my mom's not in here helping me today. You guys know, I know we love her and we like having her around, but she would literally be convincing me to keep everything. Like, she can't be here right now. Okay, I've been waiting for you. This dress in my last closet clear out 
a year and a half, I said I shouldn't keep this dress because I'm not gonna wear it, but I will keep it. And I said, prove me wrong. And guess what? As you can probably tell by literally how flat it is and how the tag is still on it. I never wore it. And it's so cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just got this. I actually bought this on Etsy. I'm trying to buy from like more sustainable brands or like handmade small business. And that's what this was. It's so gorgeous. So I'm gonna keep that, I'm very excited. And this dress I designed, well, my mind designed it. Someone designed it for me, but this is from one of my videos. So I'm gonna keep this. This will go with the other gowns. I'll put it in a bag. We're doing pretty good, I feel like. Here is to give and here is to stay. Day. Oh no, I feel like when I added the jackets, this pile got a lot bigger. But I feel like this is still pretty good. And we're just getting started, you know? We're just getting started. Honestly, I hate to be this person, but these are my sweatpants. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take all but one to the keep. I'm gonna take all these down to go through. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm allergic to dust. All right, first things first. Cardigan. Oh, I love cardigans, but you gotta go. Love cardigans, but you gotta go. I love cardigans, but you gotta go. I love hand knit cardigans, you must say. Ooh, love that. I wore this once this year, which kind of made me feel like, am I into this now? But I'm not. This is so cute. I'm obsessed, like, come on. That's actually a matching set. Like, I'm sorry, even just looking at this pile, Look how fun and colorful that is. Like, doesn't that just make you happy? It makes me happy. <gasps> my eggs! Yes, keep. Oh my gosh! Look at that! Whoa, you can stay. <laughs> my tie-dye. Okay, this is literally a 1960s top, vintage. It has the tags on it still. I swear I'll wear it. I promise, okay? That was actually pretty good. I got rid of a fair bit of that. Okay, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. That was the one I was most worried about. Okay, the irony of me eating a chocolate bar while doing my <laughs> workout clothes. So I actually already went through my workout clothes and I got rid of like 25 pairs of leggings. I don't know why there was that many. Again, I think from like videos that I've done where I review athletic wear. So I feel like I cut this down pretty good already and I wear like this sort of thing on a daily basis. So. This is pretty good. Swimsuits. I've actually been swimming like twice in the last little while and I've worn my favorite swimsuit. It's from Walmart. It's so nice. So I did refine this a lot before I moved, but I will go through again, you know, just in case because it's a little bit much probably. Now I'm not trying to make excuses, but I do love swimming and I do go swimming quite a bit so i like having a fair few swimsuits but this is clearly too many so i will go through it now when i'm getting rid of swimsuits i usually try to see how worn they are if i think they're still good quality i'll donate them and then the thrift store can just decide what they want to do um but if they're really ratty i will just throw them away because i don't want to bother the thrift store with having to weed through them but a lot of the swimsuits that i get rid of are never even worn so Definitely worth getting rid of. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin. I'm just like, okay, let's like find a swimsuit here. Where, where are the matches? I feel like I need to do that first. I'll find every match. swimsuits all right good okay i'm gonna go have lunch and then i'll be back okay i'm back and i'm well fed and now i'm tackling the tops so i have actually maybe i'll go over here this is all my sweaters there are a lot of sweaters here i can definitely cut this down this is too much like look at all these sweaters what is this some of these have got to go Okay, this is gonna be hard because I love sweaters, but I know I don't need all of these. So I'm just gonna start with the ones that are obvious gives, obvious keeps, and then I'll make a maybe pile. Oh my gosh, my vest, my Christmas vest. Look at this. You guys, 
guys were all complimenting this little sweater. So the story behind this is it was my mom's and then she accidentally shrunk it. So she gave it to me and then I thought it was done being shrunk. So I put it in the dryer and it shrunk again. So I don't think this will fit me anymore, but I want to keep it and try and stretch it out. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, here are the maybes. We've got this sweater. I think I'll keep it actually. Oh my gosh, oh no. This is so cute, but I never wore it. And I, I don't know, I feel like the colors aren't me. Okay, I feel pretty good about this. This is the give, that's the keep. That's the other big give bin over there. Wait, right there there. So I feel like that's not bad. I might have to cut this one down one more time once I actually start folding, but for now, we cut it in half. If you've ever wondered how I get so much clothes, just Google try on haul on my channel and all the clothes from those I put into my closet and then eventually I go through it like this and donate them because I feel like I can't get rid of the stuff immediately. I always like having it for a little bit and then after like a couple months of it sitting in my closet, I'm like, why do I have this? So it takes a second, but we get there eventually. Next we have all my hanging t-shirts. A lot of these are going to go. I don't know why these ones are hanging. I think it was just easier to see them and I wear a lot of t-shirts in the summertime, but in the winter, I almost never wear these. <sighs> to the table. I'm gonna make quick work of this. These are all going. These are all really cute tops, but I just don't wear them, you know? Whew, definitely got rid of more than half of those ones. More t-shirts! Actually, I think a lot of these are tank tops. Look how little this top is, honestly. This is so small. It's so small. It's a go. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at this. I love the way it sounds. I have to remember to wear this. I tie-dyed this myself. I tied it myself. Keep. Ha! Skirts. Why are none of them coming? Skirts. Go, go, go. Oh, this has got a skirt built in. Okay. I'm just putting it on over my pants because if it can fit over my pants, then it's gonna be big enough that it'll be comfortable. And it does. Okay. You know, there's a skirt underneath. It's kind of see-through though, which wouldn't really save me if it went flying up. I love this type of skirt. You know, like a mid-length skirt. It's just so easy to wear. Love it. This skirt is literally such a lint trap. Look at this. I swear I lint rolled this like a couple days ago. It's gotta go. Just cause it's so fun. A pink corduroy skirt, but it's gotta go. Okay, that was actually pretty good. I cut that down to like five. Now I just have all my short dresses and then shoes. This is actually a reformation dress. It still has the tags on it and everything. And it's nice and everything, but like, it's just kind of bland, I feel like. Maybe I should put it on. It's such a hassle to put on, <laughs> but whatever, I'll do it. This is why we're here, you know? We gotta try these on and see. Actually, this is too hard. Actually, no, it's not. Oh, it's actually kind of nice. Maybe I'll hold on to it a little bit longer. I feel like I look like I should be like a dancer, a ballerina. I'll keep it for a little longer, but if I, by the next closet clear out, if I haven't worn this, you're gone, dress. Oh, I just got this one. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's just a little short. It's very pretty, but I'm always scared that like one gust of wind will just up my dress goes. So this one's a maybe. I told this one if I didn't wear it, I would get rid of it. So I'm gonna get rid of it. This one, I love the fit of it, but I don't like the color. Okay, I just bought this one too. This one, just, I don't feel comfortable in it. These two dresses are like the epitome of dresses I love. Love this one. This one can go. There we go, that's pretty good. I feel good about these dresses. Shoe time. I mean these. These are adorable. Oh my gosh, where are this, where are, where are the laces? I'm gonna get rid of these. They look too much like the Doc Martens, so I don't need two. I'm gonna get rid of these, because I don't wear heels in the snow. Obviously gonna keep these because they're cute. I'm gonna pick one of these. I think I'll do the one with the thicker heel because it'll be more comfortable. My skates can stay. I'm not ready to part with these. 
which shoes should I keep? I mean, it doesn't really matter, I feel like. I'll get rid of these ones. I don't need two of the same. I like to hang on to the sandals. You know what? I'm gonna part with these. Not these. Not these. These are so cute. Keep. Give. Where are my pairs? Now I just have five random shoes. I love these rubber boots, but I'm gonna part with them. Barbie shoe, keep. Skechers, duh! You can go. I don't know where your match is. Aqua shoes, must keep. Oh my gosh! We did a thing. Also, what's up there right now? Just, just ignore it. Okay, you guys, so here we have the keep pile. Pretty hefty in size, I will admit. But here we have the give pile. Equally as hefty in size, I would say. Like literally, I think I cut my closet in half, if not more than half. That one might be a little bigger. So I feel like that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna call my mom up here for her to help me fold all the gives. She'll probably want to peek around through them anyways. So I'll do that quickly. What are you keeping? That. Oh. And then I'm giving this. Wow, good for you. Thank you. Awesome. If there's anything that you want, please feel free to grab. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and reframe, but I'm already saying something. Good luck. Two seconds later. actually that I'm keeping to give to my child. <laughs> right. What? You're giving I'm this? I'm sorry. I bought you this. You know, I literally told them, I was like, my mom can't be here to help <laughs> because she won't. She'll just get me to keep everything. It's true. I come in here to borrow a t-shirt and they all are like Winnie the Pooh shirts on me. <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> Wait, does she not have a normal t-shirt? I don't! You have a problem! Wee! <laughs> Mia, you're gonna feel great. But, hey! I thought this was like a favorite. A favorite? Yeah! This too! You crazy girl. What was that? We don't know. Hello? Oh, you're getting rid of that? I've never worn it. I would wear that! I love that! Do you want it? I don't know. It takes up a lot of room. It's so cute. I didn't say it wasn't cute. I said I didn't have room for it. Yeah, when would I ever wear a bright red jacket? Well, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that's an, a beautiful. Just forget about it. You'll never remember. Oh, good grief. Well, you like to get the occasional new piece too. And like, mom, occasionally. <laughs> Occasionally. Occasionally I've been known to do that. <laughs> the truth of the matter is I like a lot of the stuff, but I just don't wear it. Mm -hmm. So why keep it? It's kind of that simple for me. It's hard to have all these clothes when we rarely leave the house. Yes. <laughs> Just folded everything to donate. Usually I just put it into a bag, but I feel like folding it makes it take up less space. So I thought that would be nice. Plus then when they open it up, they don't have to fold it. Or maybe they will, I don't know. But either way, folded it up. Okay, so here we have two boxes that are gonna go to the homeless shelter. For these, I tried to pick like the big fluffy sweaters, things that really hold in heat. And also, of course, just like a bunch of jeans and things like that. And a few sweatpants and then this big red fluffy sweater because that provides a lot of heat. So this is for the homeless shelter. Okay, and then this is the rest of the clothes folded, making three pretty full and honestly very heavy. I'm like a little bit out of breath boxes. I'm thinking I'll donate these to a woman's shelter. There is so much cute clothes in here. I I don't know. I think that they would really, really like them. I've donated to women's shelters in the past and they're always really grateful for clothes. So I think that's where these three are going. Okay. So yeah, all the clothes will be going to very worthy causes. I definitely suggest if your closet is overflowing to look through everything and find somewhere to donate your pieces because 
you would be very surprised. The clothes that you no longer want to wear, other people will be very excited to wear it. Or maybe at the back of your closet, you don't even realize you have clothes that you'd never wear. So make sure to clear out your closet too. And now I need to put the rest of the clothes that made the cut into my closet. So let's just snap and have it done. How about that? All right, guys, so my closet is finished. Also, this is a different cheetah print. Is this cheetah print or is this leopard? All right, you guys, and just like that, my closet is finished. Let's take a look. Okay, so the first little nook of the closet is the jackets outwear section. Now, you'll notice throughout the entire closet, I tried to color coordinate it. I always see other people with color coordinated closets and I don't think it'll last very long for me, but I thought for the final reveal, I'll try to do a little color coordinating. And over here, I have my Harry Potter owl hat because we had a Harry Potter night. And then actually, this is a really fun bin. I didn't really show this, but this has everything that I'm making my bridal party like gift boxes with. So you'll see that in a future video. And then on this side, we have all of the shoes. The shoes fit a lot more comfortably now and it, it makes it so that I can really see what shoes I have. Even though I just wear winter boots right now, once the summer rolls around, I will dive into these. Again, when summer comes around, we've got shorts into quadrant number two. This is probably my favorite section because it has the sweatpants and the sweaters that I wear mainly every single day. But it also has like my favorite pieces all hung up right here. The colorful knits and cardigans. Right below that we have the pants and jeans. Now before I had so many pants that it filled this whole row and then the jeans were over here. But now since we got rid of quite a few, it's all together, which I really like having my jeans hung up. And now I only have three pairs of jeans, which is way more fitting because I never wear jeans. So three is definitely more than enough for me. And then when it comes to the fun pants, we've got quite a few pairs, but I actually wear those, so I'm happy to have them here. These are my favorite right now, corduroy. Oh yeah, and then I have the athletic wear down there in these little like Ikea cube organizers. In this section, I hang up all of the long dresses or overalls. I have two overalls here, where are they? Oh yeah, these, I love wearing overalls. And then a lot of these dresses actually have to prove to me that they should be in my closet because I bought this one at the beginning of summer and I never wore it. So this one's on the watch. I don't know about you yet. I'm watching you. The third and final section is this one, which there's my socks and my underwear and all those things that I didn't organize, but here they are. Over here is another favorite section of mine because it's the chunky knit sweaters and turtlenecks. It's actually kind of funny because these are the only non-turtlenecks that I own. So I have four shirts that are not turtlenecks, well, I guess five. I'm wearing one. But I clearly have an obsession with turtlenecks because everything else here has a turtleneck. Which I, is actually crazy, because I always say I love turtlenecks, but I didn't think that it would be this many. So here's big chunky turtlenecks. Chunky, but not too chunky turtlenecks. My black turtlenecks. Don't ask why there's so many. My non-turtlenecks. Oh, and these are actually sweater vests, which some are turtlenecks and some are not. In this middle bin here, I have my tank tops. Oh gosh, oh gosh, my underwear. Then we have the skirts. These are all my t-shirts. There's not too many here, but there's definitely enough. Like, not too many in comparison to what it was before. And then over in this corner, we have the short dresses. So these are all the dresses that can be kind of pushed into this little nook because they're not really long. So that is a wrap on going into the new year with a organized closet. Let's close them up. I can't stop with that transition. I don't know why I think it's so fun. It's just like, it's so crisp. Like they're open, then they're closed. Magic. Okay, but for real, I feel really good about the things I got rid of. My closet constantly is growing from all the video concepts that I do and reviews of different clothing brands. And it is a lot of fun, obviously, but I can't keep everything nor should I, because that would be insane. So I'm really hopeful that the things that I'm getting rid of will go to better homes and be put to better use somewhere else. And I honestly have a lot of faith that they will be. And you know what, down the line, I may find that I miss a couple pieces, but I will rest assured that someone else is enjoying them more than I would have. And that brings us to our charity portion for today. As you guys know, we donate in every single video to the charities of your choice. So today will be 
the dishwasher just started. <laughs> Today's journey is this. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to let me know down below if you like watching organization videos because I literally love watching organization videos. So we could, we could tackle the pantry, my baking cupboard. I have a crazy storage closet downstairs that's gotten a little insane. So if you like it, we will do more. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!